Hello kiddos, how are you all? How are you all kids? Are you excited? We're gonna study about past and two of a time. Okay, so today in this session, in this class, we will learn how to tell time in English or how to write time in English. You know, we use two words, past and two while writing or telling the time in English. But the question is when to use past or when to use to. So today we will be discussing everything about past and to. Which particular hand has the power to tell time, especially including past and to. And when to include past and when to tell using to. So let's start. For that, just a sec, I'll be needing a clock. So let's start. So here we have a, our clock. This is our clock. What we'll do, we'll first divide this clock into two halves, okay? One half containing smaller number, that means one, two, three, four, five, highlighting now, is basically the past, is basically the portion that tells us we have to use the word past, okay? This is the past area. And other half that includes larger numbers such as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 is for 2. And which basically, which hand lets us know which particular, I mean what to use, ha, past or 2. So this is, this power is given to minute hand. Minute hand has a power to tell whether it's past or 2. If minute hand lies in the smaller region, it will be passed. If the minute hand lies in the larger region, larger part of the face of clock, it will be 2. That means, let's say for example, this time it's passed. Why? Which one is the, um, yes, minute hand? The orange one or the green one? Which hand is minute hand here? Yes, the green one. So green one is lying in which area the smaller area or the larger area which side of the clock's face it's where it's lying on the smaller area where smaller numbers are there so it's past okay now tell me stop now tell me it's past or two just focus which hand we need to focus we have to focus on minute hand it's between 8 and 9 and this is the larger side of the clock so it's 2 okay again now tell me stop now what's this fast or two fast 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 or two just we need to check where our minute hand is the smaller side or the larger side smaller side is past larger side is 2 Past her two, past her two. Tell me, kids, it's past her two. Fast, fast, fast. Tell me fast, it's past her two. It's two. Way well done. It's past her two. It's past. Okay, okay. Now tell me, it's past her two. It's past. Way good. Past her two. It's past. So it's very easy to decide whether it's past or to just by observing our minute hand. If minute hand is lying in smaller area, it will be past. That means between 12 to 6 containing smaller numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, including 6, it will be past. And if the minute hand is in the larger area, larger side, the side where larger numbers are there, it will be 2. Okay, tell me fast. Past or 2? Past or 2? Tell me kids, it's past or 2? Past. Okay. 3, 2, 1. Past or 2? Past or 2? Tell me kids, it's past or 2? Past. Past or 2? Past or 2? Tell me kids, it's past or 2? 2. Right? So, are you done with identifying when it's past, when it's to? Great job. In next lesson, we will understand how to use past and 
tell time in this class we just have understood what is past and two of a clock okay meet you soon till then just stay safe stay healthy and keep learning with me and Matt. bye bye